Well, this video is kind of a follow-up video to my rant the other day talking about JavaScript and how it's not as bad as some people make it sound. And I want to make it clear, I am not saying that it's the fastest language in the world or that it's even close to being the fastest language in the world. But I have mentioned how I think HTML is great, how simple it is. I love plain text stuff because it's easy to modify. And that's one of the things about both JavaScript and HTML that I love is that when I'm in a web browser, whether it be Chrome or Chromium or Firefox or even Internet Explorer has a developers developers tab uh, developers tab where you can get a console and you can inject your own code, which I think is great when I go to these websites that I can modify stuff very simply on the user end here. Uh, but again, some people say it's it's slow. Well, HTML is great. But I don't think you're using to its fullest potential if you're not incorporating even just a little bit of JavaScript. Whether you're using C or C++ or Python or Bash or Perl or PHP in the back end jittering your HTML for the HTML will still be static at that end once it hits the browser unless you're using something like JavaScript. I mean you could use Visual Basic Script but then you gotta use Internet Explorer and I'm not even sure if that's even supported anymore and I'm not saying to use Visual Basic Script. JavaScript though is awesome even if you just use it to request things from the server in the background because if I didn't have JavaScript on this page when I search through my videos I would have to refresh the entire page just to load new videos and I wouldn't be able to do real-time search so as, as I type here uh, it's going to be doing searches uh, requesting stuff from the server and I am going to tell you right now my programming is not the best in the back end of this I have a couple thousand videos in a plain text file not the videos themselves but the list of them it's not a, a database file and I'm just basically grepping through it and outputting that to the browser but if I wasn't using JavaScript the whole page would have to refresh every time I want to do a search but with just a little bit of JavaScript I can get a real-time search here uh, and on this slow machine here, which is an Inspiron uh, 5100 model, it's originally running uh, Windows XP, it has a Pentium 4, it has like 750 megs of RAM, it didn't even have Wi-Fi built in, that's how old it is, I had to get a, a external card for it there just to get hooked up to the Wi-Fi. But here we are at my website, I'm in the search field here, and I'm going to tell you it's not going to be the fastest but it's pretty good for an old machine uh, using JavaScript. So as an example, if I wanted to search for Nmap, there we go, that took not very long, only found you know three videos to display because it's got to pull those thumbnails from YouTube. Let me do another one, let me do Doom. So I'll type Doom again, didn't take very long. Let's do another one, let's do Bash. I have a couple hundred Bash videos, so it might take a moment there, took a moment longer for them all to load, but not very long. So, my point here, again, is not that JavaScript is the best or the fastest language, but it is simple to use. It adds functionality to your GUI interfaces, in, whether it's just a web page or you're developing programs uh, in HTML, or I should say with HTML. Even though it's not the fastest language in the world, even on old machines, when you're doing simple things like this, it loads fast. And again, as I said in the previous video, you might have problems with HTML when you go to certain pages, but that's not or not HTML, you might have problems with JavaScript when you go to certain pages where the pages load, take forever to load and their tabs take forever to load and all this stuff and that is not because they're using JavaScript, that's because they are bad programmers and again I don't consider myself a great programmer but I'm halfway decent and my stuff runs decent so a lot of these pages you go to that have JavaScript and they run like crap, it's because in most cases the people who are developing those pages aren't programmers, they're developers and they know just the bare minimum and they're just trying to make the page look nice. They don't care about how well it runs. And a lot of those pages have a lot of ads jammed in them which is just going to make things run horribly. So again, JavaScript not as bad as you might think. And again, uh, as far as my website, you might say, well, I like using the shell. If the page is designed right, you don't need to use the JavaScript. You can just pull up, you know, pull the data using the APIs. You go to my site, there is a shell link here that uh, has a shell, a very simple shell browser that, or, or that you can use with a shell browser or in a regular browser here. It's just a very simple, no JavaScript, uh, reloads the page each time, but you can use uh, W3M or uh, links in the shell with it. Or if you're going to use wget or curl, my page will actually allow you to pull information, do queries that way, queries that way. And if you just wget or curl my website, filmsitechris.com, it will give you instructions on how to use my site in the shell. And it took me less than 20 minutes to put this up. So that's not a JavaScript issue that gets, again, just better design. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And you probably, some of you are going to disagree with me and rant about how bad JavaScript is. Again, I don't care what language it is. You're either a good programmer or a bad programmer. You can't blame uh, the language for when someone programs things poorly. And I want to make it very, very clear. I do not think that JavaScript is the, the end all to programming like it's like the best thing out there. But it has its uses, it has its place, uh, whether it's in a web browser or on a server side or just in your shell. I do thank you for watching. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. And I hope that you have a great day.